So there's a crypto gaming bull run on the way, and it's gonna blow your mittens off once it gets here. The millionaires of last run say that it's gonna be bigger than any other crypto sector. Becker yaps on about it, Elio won't shut his dirty little mouth, and Lady of Crypto's gym selfies are there to remind you that Vulcan Forged is down 95% from its all-time high. So I needed to make this video to give us the best chance possible of getting freaky deaky rich in the next cycle. Because the unfortunate truth is you're probably gonna miss out. You're likely to buy in way too late. You're likely to buy the wrong token. And you probably refuse to acknowledge both of these facts and hold on to your crappy tokens as they go down or everything else is exploding around it. So to make it as easy as possible for you to make life-changing gains in the next crypto gaming bull run, I've put together the world's simplest three-step crypto gaming formula to join the big brains and cash in on the game. All I ask in return, hit that like button down below, put on your freaky dicky rich hat and let's jump in. So why will there not be any other crypto niche that will outperform crypto gaming? Well, there's actually quite a few reasons, but this is the world's simplest guide. So here's the biggest reason why. The traditional gaming industry last year made $347 billion in that 12 month period. And one of the larger games, Fortnite, individually did $10 billion of revenue that year. Now let's cross reference these stats with crypto gaming. The entirety of the crypto gaming niche, every single game and project out there, all added together, are currently valued at less than Fortnite's yearly revenue. So it's safe to say there's a lot of room for this gaming industry to grow as traditional and new companies adopt the superior blockchain technology. But just how big could this become? Well, let's start this math equation with a bit of brutal honesty. Most people think that this huge gaming crypto run is gonna occur because the AAA developed games take normally four years to develop and now they've finally had that time. And so there's gonna be some world-class games out there which are gonna garner mass adoption and a lot of money and attention is gonna roll into this market. To that, I say no. Take a look at the gameplay of some of the biggest games in this crypto gaming industry. It's clear to me that we aren't really even close to that yet. And it's probably gonna take about 10 years before we see a crypto game on the top 10 video game chart. But the good news is, crypto gaming is gonna run regardless. And it's gonna shower us in 100x opportunity. Well, in my opinion, it's because Bitcoin is going to run first. With the upcoming Bitcoin halving, companies like BlackRock, which own trillions of dollars, are getting crypto frisky and inflation continuing to eat away people's hard-earned money is making mainstream adoption of Bitcoin way more prominent. And Bitcoin's actually been predicted to reach some pretty damn insane all-time highs. And if history shows us anything, the crypto gaming sector will follow quickly. But there is a big difference because you see Bitcoin at the moment is only 130% away from its historic all-time high. Meaning if you invested $10,000 in Bitcoin now and it hit its all-time high, you'd have $23,000 to your name. But here is the difference. More impressively, if you invested that same $10,000 into Sandbox, one of the blue chip crypto gaming tokens, it's down 1,800% from its all-time high, giving you a return from $10,000 to $180,000 if its token value was restored to its former glory. Or an even better example, D-Race. You've likely heard of this token before. It's actually down 5,400% from its all-time high, turning your $10,000 into, if you haven't done the math, $540,000. Of course, if the token was to return to its all-time high. But this is the true reason that we're all huddled up here in the degenerate gaming crypto corner, because the upside is insane. So how the heck do we make this a reality? Here is the world's simplest three-step plan. It's so simple, you don't even need pen and paper. Step one, don't mistime the market. Because if the next bull run is anything like the last one, it's gonna look like this. Ooh, we're going sideways, we're going sideways, we're going down a little bit, we're going up a little bit. We're pretty much just heading sideways for months at a time. And then almost overnight, kaboom, a gains explosion. In fact, about 80% of Axie Infinity's gains happened across a span of just 12 days, which gives you very little time to try and time the market by day trading or even less time to get in once the market starts pumping. But I know what you're thinking. It's really hard to buy cryptos in a bear market. No one wants to be the only guy slipping on his swim trunks in the corner, pulling on his swimming cap and putting his goggles on and jumping into these murky waters that could be infested with sharks. And that's fair enough. I don't wanna be that guy either. Which leaves us with two good options to not mistime this market. Option one, toughen up, put on your swim trunks and jump in. Because in the last bull market, you're probably looking at a token like Cedify while it was floating around 12 to $13 being like, oh, if this thing dips back below $10, I'm gonna jump in then just cause I missed out the first time. I need to retrace a little bit and then I'll cash in on those gains. Well, 
Cedify right now is at 77 cents and it's still the exact same project, only two more years developed. So understand the potential asymmetric risk reward ratio that you currently are sitting on. Sure, you could see Cedify hit 50 cents, 30 cents, maybe even 10 cents, but that risk is largely outweighed because in a bull market, it's very likely to return to its all time high of $16. But if you are buying it now and want to minimize the downside, definitely dollar cost average your way in. And the second strategy of trying to time the market without actually having to jump in, and this is the one that I personally use, is ask yourself, who in the world is most likely to get the timing perfect? And when I answer that question, it's one, the people who got the timing perfect the last bull market, two, the big giga brains and the largest crypto influencers who have the inside knowledge and advanced tip-offs of the latest projects and what they're doing. And since Web3 is transparent, I simply track their crypto wallet so I can see exactly when they're buying new crypto gaming tokens. I've done this with Alex Becker, Crypto God John, Elio Trades, Lady of Crypto. And so now I just sit back and wait for that bat signal to go off to tell me that they're getting into a new project. Now this awesome wallet tracker tool and a lot of really other cool resources are available to everyone who's in of our Patreon. If you're not in yet, I'll leave the link in the description below. Cool. So now we have timing figured out. Let's go to step two. Don't buy the wrong token. Simple. Because you could spend the bear market dollar cost averaging your way in and getting a fantastically low price on a project. Or you could apply your Fibonacci algorithms and get all your day trading signals pumping and get the market at the absolute historical bottom price. But if you buy the wrong tokens, you look like a big dumb goose as every other crypto gaming project around you is skyrocketing 10, 20, 100 X's and yours is sitting going sideways and going down to zero. So you must know which tokens to invest in. Alex Becker actually tweeted today. He said a giant crypto gaming run in the next year or so, regardless of the rest of crypto is so brutally obvious. Most game coins will at least 10 to 20 X easy. All it takes is one big hit for absolute FOMO mass speculation to occur across all gaming tokens and NFTs. You should have a list of 10 to 20 great projects to spread money around. Now, I'll show you the most up-to-date Alex Becker recommendation list in the crypto gaming niche at the end of the video. But what's even more important is I wanna show you the three biggest red flags that make it very, very likely that you're going to lose your investments and watch everybody else get wealthy once the crypto bull run returns. And the red flag number one, and there's been some big influencers making some mistakes by recommending a lot of these tokens, is insane. I'm saying like ridiculous token dilution. Because for some reason, it's a trend right now, especially on these latest Cedify games, to launch a crypto game with 10x, 20x, 40x token dilution over just the next four years. Now, if you don't know what this means, that means a project will launch and only have about 2% of its tokens in circulating supply and have the other 98% bleed into that project over the next four years, diluting the value and ruining it for everybody. So make sure you know the exact tokenomic structure, the vesting schedule, and the dilution for any project you get into, and make sure if you're investing in a token that has more than 4X dilution coming, you know what you're doing. And once it pumps, get out fast before that dilution comes. Red flag, number two. If you watch me often, you know I'm a big believer that 95% of crypto pumps are narrative driven, meaning the value of a game is dependent on the social value and social narrative that they have in the tech and gaming world. So whether that's a large influencer wants to talk about them to their audience, just like Becca absolutely blew up Cedify in the last bull run, or maybe a member of their team has an illustrious background, just like Steppen had the VP of Adidas on their board, or the project has a ridiculous amount of followers in either Twitter or Discord. But here comes the red flag. There are projects out there that have fake followers and fake Discord members because they're trying to create hype around their token and it's a big red flag because they're not focused on their product. So to check this, so when you go to a project's Twitter and you see they have tens of thousands of followers, have a look at how many views each of their posts are getting because if they're not getting many at all, these followers are likely paid for or fake. Stay away. And red flag number three, this one is the least of the deal breakers, but it's still pretty suspicious if you see it occurring. And in fact, there's actually a really high correlation between rug pulls and this red flag. Of course, it's having an anonymous or pseudonymous team. If you come across a project that looks really good, but they don't publicly announce who's on their team, who's working on it, who's the investors, who's the advisors, you have to ask why not? Which takes us to step three. Don't mistime the market. Oh, wait a second, Bench. Wasn't that step number one? Very good. That is in fact step number one. But now we're talking on the other side of your gain because most people lost money in the last bull market because they never cashed out. They bought into the diamond hands, the hodl forever thesis, and didn't pay attention to the reality that they were investing in a pretty amateur looking project 
that had a market cap of over a billion dollars. And a hot tip that I wanna give you, because this confuses a lot of people. They watch videos, such as this one even, that talk about 100X or even 50X or 20X gain. Now these gains in hindsight are a lot easier to calculate than they are before they happen. Which means basically, if you see a crypto that does a 10X return, we're talking about from the very bottom price to the very top. And in reality, if you pulled a six, seven or eight X out of that run, you did an insanely good job. So as the token price is going up, dollar cost average your way out. Get back your initial money and don't be the last one holding the bag. And instead of waking up every morning and refreshing your wallet and seeing how rich you're getting, make sure you're creating and building real value in the world. Because crypto gaming is gonna be a pretty goddamn amazing payday for it. But once the hype comes crashing down, we're left with the skills that we've built and the systems and services that we're putting out there to the world to help serve others. Because these in the long run will make us a way larger fortune. Now, as I promised, here is Alex Becker's latest list of crypto recommendations. And if you're underwhelmed by these picks, which I personally am, know that they're pretty outdated because Beck has been busy building his latest business and only just recently has he started researching new tokens. In fact, just today, he tweeted this at a brand new crypto project, asking to speak to someone on the team before he includes it in a new list of recommendations. And this new list will be the 10 to 20 cryptos that he believes will 10, 20 or 100X in the next gaming bull run. And if you wanna stay fully up to date with this list and get each of the tokens individually broken down, have a tracker on Becca and other gaming influencers wallets so you know exactly when they're buying and what they're picking up, as well as access to a portfolio dashboard so you know what he's already holding and in what percentage, make sure you check out the link to the Patreon in the description below. I'll open up some new seats as I release this video so there's room for you to join. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.